Tony's though still. Such a shame. Absolutely no. Thank mm. you very much indeed, <laughs> Seuss. Uh, so there he goes. We'll be going backwards and forwards to Popham service stations. Uh, it's uh, 23 minutes past seven. Tony Blackman here with you through till uh, 10 o'clock and then of course Anne Diamond will be along. It seems volunteering in sport is definitely part of the Berkshire legacy of London 2012. 600 people have signed up to do the Sportsmaker programme and uh, giving up a total of four months of their time over the last year to help at local clubs, in schools and sporting events like half marathons. Kirsty uh, Heath is, um, uh, has been running the programme through a great Get Berkshire Active. That's right. Have you managed to get Berkshire Active? We are trying very hard to, yes. Working mm. really hard to get people more active. Were you surprised at how many uh, came forward to help? Um, it's one of those things where the Olympics has really put volunteering at the forefront and so we are very grateful for anyone that wants to come forward and volunteer with us. Mm. And is this volunteering going to go on, you know, year after year after year? So from the Sportmakers programme, we've developed our own local volunteering programme called Team Berkshire Volunteers, yeah. which is largely about deploying volunteers into sports events happening locally in Berkshire. And that is a programme that's going to continue for us. So what difference has it uh, made to schools? What difference has it made? Yeah. It's... Um, Made also local events as well. Yeah, right? so we've had lots of school sport competitions happening and we've deployed some adults into those competitions mm. to help with scoring, officiating, keeping the young children under control and making sure they're in the right place at the right time. So when you become a, a volunteer, tell me exactly what happens. I mean, are you volunteering just to make sure, you know, it's the people, the uh, stewards standing there at half marathons and things like that? Well, now that we've had the games makers at the Olympics, it's a lot easier to explain it to people because it's mm. like the localised versions of the games makers. They're coming along to events, meeting and greeting people, being enthusiastic, um, trying to inspire them, encourage them, motivate them to do their best at that mm. event. Now, you don't get a uniform though, do you? They get one of these t-shirts I'm wearing now, so they get an Adidas um, Sportmakers t-shirt yeah. um, and we also have other incentives that includes other kits um, to try and keep them volunteering. I see. Oh, I see. So you're bribing people yeah, with, with yeah, T-shirts right. <laughs> <laughs> and goodies. And uh, you've got funding now to continue the programme for another year, I guess. So we've got right? some more funding, which is largely about deploying volunteers into school-based competitions, but also about upskilling existing coaches, leaders, volunteers. What do people need to do if they want to sign up? So they can email info at getbarkshireactive.org or just give us a call on 01628 472 851. Mm. And these are people who, um, I mean, there are so many events going on in this area, aren't they? There so are. what, what actually happens? You become a volunteer, you get the T-shirt... Uh, yep, then so you can we'll, just disappear on holiday uh, once you've got the T-shirt. So we'll you? go through a registration process. Yeah. We'll have um, an interview, an induction. They'll get a briefing that's relevant to mm. the event so they know what they're doing and what they're happy with. Um, and they're also offered free training as part of being a volunteer with us, which includes first aid, for example, um, mm. some basic event management training. So we're helping to upskill them um, so that when they mm. are deployed into the events, they really know what they're doing. And can they then choose which events they want to be a part yeah, of? Yeah, of course. Yeah, they're not signing their life away. If they can only volunteer <laughs> for one event, then we're very grateful and for And there are a lot of events going on, and it's during the winter as well, I guess. Yeah, well, so it? with kind of the season that's coming up, there's lots of triathlons, running events. We've also, obviously, with the new academic coming year, there'll be more school competitions as Lovely. well. Can you get one of those t-shirts without uh, becoming a volunteer? Unfortunately not. You're oh. very welcome to come and volunteer with us and I can guarantee I'll give you a t-shirt. I bet you've got a freebie in the car, haven't you? <laughs> Unfortunately <laughs> not. All right, fair <laughs> enough. Kirsty, thank you very much nice indeed for coming in. Nice to meet you as well. 27 minutes past seven, let's get the weather with Suze. At the moment in Popham, 